My wife and I, went on a short getaway vacation to Georgetown, South Carolina. This is a short video of some of the places we visited in and around Georgetown. Downtown Historic Georgetown is a must-visit destination for waterfront shopping, dining, boating, fishing, historic tours. It is also the perfect place for a destination wedding. If you are looking for fun things to do with the family, check out the events calendar and partake in one of the fun festivals, parades, and concerts. Also, remember to bring your camera to capture some of the best photographic opportunities in the South. The first church on this site, known as Prince Frederick's Chapel, was built in 1848 on a site donated by the Reverend Hugh Fraser in 1834. Most of its parishioners were rice planters along the P.D. River. These ruins are of the second church here, approved by a committee of R.F.W. Alston, Davian McDowell, and Francis Weston and begun in 1859 but, interrupted by the Civil War. Atalaya Castle was built by Archer Huntington and his wife, Anna, between 1931 and 1933. Archer was a philanthropist from New York City and designed the house to be a winter residence for him and his wife after she was diagnosed with tuberculosis. He designed the plans himself based on Spanish or Moorish architecture coupled with his own imagination. Anna, who was an artist and sculptor, did her part as well and designed the wrought iron grills that serve as hurricane protection on all the windows. The castle has 30 rooms laid out around three sides of a courtyard. In the center of the courtyard, surrounded by native plants, is a watchtower that is 40 feet tall after which the house was named. Atalaya means watchtower in Spanish. Various other areas included indoor and outdoor studios for Anna to work on her art, and animal enclosures where they kept bears, horses, monkeys, and a leopard. Archer insisted that the house be built by local laborers to help boost the economy of the region during the Depression years. They employed many local people to work at the house and gardens as well and were known as outstanding employers. The house was situated on the ocean within an estate that originally consisted of over 9,000 acres of mixed land. Surrounded by live oak-lined streets, downtown historic Georgetown is the third oldest city in the state and is filled with history, charm, and personality. Georgetown Historic District is a national historic district. The district encompasses 49 contributing buildings in the central business district of Georgetown. The oldest existing structure in Georgetown is a dwelling which dates from about 1737.
The Thomas Balam House was believed to be a pre-revolutionary tavern and a place of entertainment. Balam was the tavern keeper. The William Doyle Morgan House was the home to the mayor from 1891 to 1906 and was the catalyst for much of Georgetown's growth and prosperity by the turn of the century. He helped give the city modern water, a sewer system, electric lights, paved streets, sidewalks and deep in the harbor. Well, it's time for us to pack up and head back home. We really hope you enjoyed our little walk through Georgetown with us. We will be making more short travel videos like this one in the future. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye, and happy travels.